Oh, yeah, the killer. Fellow Tennessee, and actually he's originally from Louisiana or something like that, but he uh, was living in Memphis, or actually just south of Memphis, in a little ranch in northern Mississippi when I was in Memphis. And, um, of course, I've got a Jerry Lee Lewis story, because I told you last week, or earlier this week, I guess it was, man, time flies. But I told you my Elvis stories this week, and I posted them on my blog, the Bashful Bloviator blog, if you care to care to read all about my Elvis stories. But I have a Jerry Lee Lewis story, and it's actually kind of funny. Now, Jerry Lee Lewis actually was made possible in part because of Elvis. Uh, when Sam C. Phillips sold Elvis's contract to RCA Records for what was then an ungodly amount of money, he used it to invest in Sun Records and uh, to, to seriously expand their production capabilities and their distribution lines. And this hit by Jerry Lee Lewis that I played earlier, a whole lot of shaking, was one of the results of that. So the Sun Studios was right down the street from where my father used to be uh, working in a new car dealership. And the guys from Sun Records would come in there all the time. Well, he knew Jerry Lee Lewis. So he's talking to Jerry Lee Lewis one day, and, uh, and my dad says, you know, my wife Betty is the biggest fan of yours, and you know what? It would just make her day if you would give her a call. And Jerry Lee says, well, I'd be happy to do that. So he picks up the phone, and he calls my mom. My mama picks up the phone. Hello? He says, hello, baby. This is the killer. Who? This, this is the killer speaking. What do you mean you're the killer? Uh, Jerry, Jerry Lee Lewis. Jerry Lee who? I don't know any damn Jerry Lee. Who the hell are you? Jerry Lee Lewis, the killer, the, the singer. I don't know any Jerry Lee Lewis, the singer. <laughs> this is an absolutely true story. <laughs> Jerry Lee Lewis uh, finally convinced her that he was a, a pop star of some sort, but uh, no, she had never heard of him. And my father was just beyond mortified. So, yeah, that's, a, that's an absolutely true story. I make up nothing.